We've made it to boys basketball season. The girls got a head start in classes A and B. Boys were supposed to start around the end of last week, but something about a snow pile up. Yeah, no idea. I already forgot about it. First game of the Our Redeemers invite. Knights are the away team on their own court wearing black up double digits on Central McLean. Third quarter, the lead builds. Peyton Linbo takes a corner three and the Knights shot exceptionally well from the three point line tonight. Cougars tried to get shots up from deep to cut the deficit. This is Cole McKeith way deep from the elbow. Looks like he's two or three feet off the three point line. Now, once you've shown your ability to shoot from deep, you can start working the ball inside. Limbo does that to Jace Weekly. This is going to be perfect passing from the ORCS offense for an easy bucket. Fourth quarter, Knights still up big. Check out this move. Jace Weekly spinning inside, fade away. Yes, ORCS all about three and D tonight. Threes and defense. Our goal was to be number one defense in the state, so we're going to work hard towards that. And we have a ton of shooters on our team. We shot really high, probably the highest we're going to shoot all season. I mean, we had Peyton Limbo shooting seven threes, and uh, I don't know, it's just, just going to be a fun season. The RCS invite continues tomorrow. Knights play South Prairie Max at 730. You may see the Redeemers boys get some love in the poll next week. These were released earlier today. Bowman County still the top fix pick for the boys, even though they haven't even played yet when the media voted. Bishop Ryan voted fourth, West Hope at seventh. Devil's Lake is the favorite in the boys class A poll, but Four Winds and Kindred both see at least one first place vote. On the girls side, Garrison at eighth and Trenton at 10. Only two teams from our area in the class B poll. Our Redeemers, Kenmare and TGU all receiving votes, but not in the top 10. In Class A, girls Thompson, unanimous first place. I wonder if that'll last all season long at this point. South Prairie Max bumps up one spot to third. Botno enters the poll at fourth, and the ladies from Turtle Mountain receiving votes. Couple scores rolling in. Girls on the left, boys on the right. Hey, don't look now, but the ladies from Kenmare, they're 4-0 and after losing their first two games of the season. Usually when you make a trip to Las Vegas, you're hoping to see the number seven in a row on your slot machine. None of those yesterday. The only points scored in the Vikings trip to Las Vegas was a field goal in the fourth quarter. Fans of explosive offensive plays and high scoring definitely weren't happy. This was the lowest scoring NFL game in 16 years. There were zero points scored in the first 58 minutes of the game. Now, Offensive load is ignored. This was a great display by the Vikings defense. Huge performance from our defense, um, getting you know the 16th shutout in franchise history, and we needed every single one of those plays uh, to uh, overcome some of our struggles on offense, and and then ultimately find a way to put a drive together uh, to get some points there at the end, and and we got enough to get the win. Vikes play at the Cincinnati Bengals this Saturday.